This is James Holder for iFilm London. I'm at Rosehill Boxing Club today. Uh, with me, I've got Joe the Pro McDonald. What's happening, Joe? All right? All good, yeah, all good. Thanks for coming down, James. It's been a while, hasn't it? I just want to say thank you to you boys for having us down. I really appreciate always coming down and that. Um, yeah, I want to talk to you a little bit about your, la your last fight against... Um, Joe Ryan Walsh. How, how do you think that went? Uh, I don't think I boxed very well, to, to be honest. His first pro, pro, pro debut. I uh, feel like I could have boxed better, but we've learned from it. Trained hard for this fight, so, so we'll see how we get on in this one. Yeah, bit of a local derby, your last fight. Both of you boys coming from Croydon. A lot of the local people were talking about the fight and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I spoke to, I spoke to Joe since. He's a nice bloke. You know, uh, it's one of those things, you get in the ring. And yeah. Friends outside and, and enemies inside the ring. Indeed, indeed. Now, you're next out again on the 23rd of March at the Camden Centre on a Mickey Elliott show. Do you know who you're going to be fighting yet? Uh, I'm fighting Lewis Byrne. He earned 23rd at Camden Centre. Um, sold a lot of tickets for this fight. I've, 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 uh, I've, um, I've given all of my purse to charity. In You've given all of your purse to charity? 100% of it to charity, yeah, in honour of my uh, friend's little boy that passed away just after, just beginning of the new year to meningitis. So if anyone wants to donate, I mean, feel free. It's all going to a good cause. It's a really nice thing to do, Joe. I don't think I've ever come across a professional boxer that's donated their whole purse that I know of to a cause that I've interviewed. So I think that's a really, really good thing to do and you should be commended on that. Thank you. I mean, yeah, it's a no-brainer to me. I'll see if I can um, dig deep, maybe chuck in a few quid myself. Nice one. First time you put your hand in your pocket. No promises. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's Ian Burby said to you, Gan, Gan, getting ready for the 23rd, mate? Um, we've, we've, been, we've been to a few other gyms, done a lot of sparring. we brought a lot of sparring in. Um, I, mean, I feel that things have gone really well. Ian feels that things have gone well. So we put it all together on the night and, and, and I'm going to promise a good performance. Uh, a friend of yours, Chaz Simons, has recently set up his own gym in Greece. Can you envis envision Ian letting you lot go out there for a training camp, maybe mix it up with Chaz? Yeah, maybe one day, yeah. I mean, uh, uh, we could get out there to Chaz's gym. I've seen his blog. I mean, I hope, I hope it's all going well for him. I hope he does well. He's got, he says he's got a couple of boxers out there. Um, I think he's looking to get a fight with Steve O'Meara. I mean, good luck to Chaz. I hope it all goes well for him. I did see that on Twitter, Chaz versus Steve-O. I think that would be an interesting scrap. Yeah, yeah, definitely be interesting to watch. I mean, change his game, so uh, see where it goes. I mean, he's got to step up and wait for it. But I mean, Chaz is always game. He's he, he like he likes he, he likes to tear up. So good luck to him. Well, with his new gym as well, there's no excuses why he can't be in there uh, seven days a week as well. That's it. Yeah, yeah, seven days a week. He's got to stay out of bars though. <laughs> um, as well, we'll talk to you a little bit about Lenny Dawes. I know he's got the trip to Italy coming up. Uh, Michela Di Rocco, I hope I pronounced that right. How do you see all that going? I see it going really well. Obviously, I've been training alongside Lenny. Um, we both train at Rose Hill with Ian. Um, looks fantastic. I mean, Lenny always trains. If there's someone to look up to when you're training, it's Lenny does. I mean, if you can keep up with Lenny in the circuits, any part of training, you're doing well. You're doing really well. So to train alongside him is brilliant for me. Um, he look, Lenny just looks fantastic. He always looks fantastic. And I, I can see him bringing home the European title. He's super fit, Lenny, and he proper super always, fit. He's always fit, Lenny is, yeah. I wouldn't go as far as say fittest person in the gym. I, I train in now and again with you. Do you know what I mean? What's yeah, I mean but the Iron Horse, you're in a different league. Zero, one, and oh, as they say. I was thinking one above heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Came off. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, well, all jokes aside, listen, I wish you the best of luck with the 23rd. Um, never mock Iron Horse again, and I'll be there at Canham Centre to see you guys in action. Thank you for uh, giving me a bit of time. Right. Thanks for coming down. Cheers, James. Thank you. This is James Holder with Joe Pro McDonald for I Film London. Thank you very much. <laughs> Oh, boy.